I'm so excited we're going to be talking about Chad GDP today. Chad GDP. GTP. Chad GPT. I'm sure you've heard all the craze. It's been all over the internet. Chat GPT is going to make you viral. It's going to write your posts for you, write your video scripts for you. You don't need to work a day in your life anymore. And this AI is going to be the magic formula that you need. Is that really true? Well, I put it to the test. And I put it to the test in five different ways, and I'm going to share with you what my results were. So as always, this channel is never about the hype. It is always about the real world situation and scenario on the tools and tactics that are out there. So one of the first places I came across ChatGPT was on LinkedIn, where this post was going viral about 50 awesome ChatGPT prompts that everyone should be using. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a go. And so this is the post on LinkedIn. And if you scroll here, it actually gives you some prompts. And so the one that I started with was the storyteller one. Let me just move on there. So it says, act as a storyteller. Um, I want you to act as a storyteller. You will come up with entertaining stories that are engaging imaginative and captivating for the audience blah 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 blah. okay so I said let me use this prompt and see if I can come up with a video script for YouTube based on a storytelling formula so I went over to chat GPT and I said I want you to act as a storyteller you will come up with stories for solopreneurs who struggle to use video and YouTube in particular. So I'm setting the stage. Your story must include the protagonist learning to be comfortable with video because, you know, they're um, they are struggling with video and they must be comfortable. So they're struggling and I need them to be comfortable. That's the transition. My first request is I need an interesting story about imposter syndrome. So what happened? Well, ChatGPT gave me um, a story about imposter syndrome but it wasn't very interesting. In fact, it was really bad. It was so bad that I, I was like, these people writing these prompts can't be real. Like, really? Are they actually using what? Let me just share the story with you. So this is what it wrote. Sure, here's a story about imposter syndrome. Once upon a time, there was a solopreneur named Sarah who struggled with imposter syndrome A highly original sentence if I've ever seen one. Uh, Sarah was a highly skilled and talented individual, but she always felt like she was an imposter and she didn't deserve her success. She was very self-conscious, et cetera, et cetera. One day she decided she needed to overcome her imposter syndrome and she knew she needed a powerful tool and she tried to push through and record a video, but then she couldn't finish it, but then she wasn't about to give up. And so she stumbled upon a workshop for overcoming imposter syndrome. And she signed up immediately. Okay, you guys can see this is really bad. It is so generic. It's like, I, like my 10 year old wouldn't write (laughs) something this bad or unimaginative. So I was like, maybe it's like, I just tried it for the first time. Maybe if I, you know, give it another story, maybe it's actually going to come up with something better. So I tried it again. This time I said, my second request is I need an interesting story about procrastination because we know video creators often struggle with, you know, just making the videos. So give me a story about that. And this is the story that it gave me. There was once a solopreneur named John who struggled with procrastination. (laughs) I mean, it's like the same generic formula applied again. So John kept putting things off and then, you know, he needed to get things done. And then one day he tried a different approach and then all of a sudden he was, okay, I can't use this. And if you're thinking about using ChatGPT as a video script writer, either you're going to have to seriously inject your personality and your ideas into the script, or if you use this as is, it's going to be the most generic, bland, formulaic piece of writing that you would have ever done. And I do not recommend it at all. Whether it's blog post writing or video script writing, I consider this a huge fail. Now, all is not lost. ChatGPT is actually useful for some things that I actually want to share with you. Some useful applications of the AI that I found. So I want to start off with a semi-useful application that I found. This one is doing the rounds on everywhere. 
Okay, so this is the formula. It says, create 10 YouTube video titles under 60 characters that are emotive and dramatic. Base the title on the following script. And then the idea is to paste your script in so that the AI generates a title after reading your script. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm going over to my Evernote and this is the last script that I did. I'm gonna actually copy this entire script. This was the last video about effective calls to action to use that are not likes and subscribes, right? So I'm going to take this section out, paste my script here, hit enter, and let's see what it comes up with. Ditch likes and subscribes. Five real ways to grow. Transform your channel with this tip. Okay. Find true engagement. Watch now. Take the next step to success. Maximize your viewers with this trick. <laughs> Okay, um, I like number two, ditch likes and subscribes, five real ways to grow, but all the other ones are not really very specific to the script because the script literally talks about calls to action that are not likes and subscribes. So number two is only the really, the only one that is kind of useful in this. So this is kind of a semi useful way to use ChatGPT to put in your script and get it to come up with to generate YouTube title ideas. So if you're stuck on your title, this might be a okay way to use it. But I actually found some better ways to use ChatGPT and those are coming up now. So one of the best uses that I found was to actually take something that's already performing well on, uh, actually this is not even YouTube specific, it could be any platform. So if you have a video or a post that's performing well on YouTube or on Instagram or any other platform, you actually tell ChatGPT to give you more ideas based on that. So this is the prompt. Give me more topic ideas based on this title. Then you paste your title in. And in this one, I wanted it to include the words introduce yourself because the title was how to introduce yourself on YouTube credibility boosters. Now that is literally my most popular topic on YouTube. And so this is what it gave me. Uh, creating a strong first impression, tips for introducing yourself on YouTube. That's not bad. That could be a really great follow-up video. Or creating a professional introduction, tips for introducing yourself on YouTube. I like these. These I like, and I think I might even use some of these. Uh, then I asked it to follow up with that and give me more ideas around the word expert and professional. Like I really wanted to have these words in the title. And so it gave me titles with these words included. For example, establishing yourself as a professional on YouTube, strategies for building credibility, or becoming an expert in your niche, tips for building credibility on YouTube. So that's a strong start. I actually like these. And so this is uh, one of the best ways that I found to use. I have another idea here that I wanted to share with you. Okay, and I did the same exercise again for one of my Instagram posts that was doing really well. It was called seven essential business tools I happily pay for every month. So I said, give me more similar ideas around this sentence. And it gave me some really good ones. Five must have productivity apps that make my workday a breeze. I think I'm going to make that real. <laughs> um, my go-to software for project management and task tracking. Okay. Um, my preferred tools for customer relationship, etc. Okay. I said, these are good. Give me more, a bit more focused on video marketing or on YouTube. And then it got really specific and it gave me these ideas. The best tools for optimizing YouTube videos for search and increasing visibility. Hmm. I could use that. My go-to equipment for filming high quality YouTube videos on a budget. Definitely, I could use that. So these are really great for Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and that kind of stuff. So if you give it like some of your best performing titles or maybe even other people's best performing titles and then ask it to come up with more ideas around that and incorporate specific keywords, that is an actually really great use of ChatGPT. But hold on, I have been saving some of the best for some of the last. And so the next tip that I have for you is actually one of my favorite ways to use chat GPT so far that I have found. Okay, so this one requires a little bit of context. So I have been meaning to start another YouTube channel, which is a shorts only channel. And I've been struggling to figure out what I want to talk about on that channel, what 
do I want to say? What should my voice be? And I wanted to generate some video ideas for that. So essentially, I wanted to use it to brainstorm a brand new channel based on my move to Madeira. So you guys know that I have moved to the island of Madeira in Portugal, and I want to showcase some of our life here and what it's like migrating 5,000 miles away from your hometown and living in a new country and what that whole experience is like. So I went to chat GPT and I said, give me some video ideas for YouTube shorts on the topic moving to Madeira. And it gave me these ideas, which were okay. I felt I felt they were a little too generic and they were, they what my problem was with these ideas, like um, a look at the island's culture and traditions. This is a really long video and it would be really hard for me to condense it in a YouTube short. So I said, these ideas are too detailed and complex. Give me simple ideas for 60 second videos. So it took my prompt and it gave me um, 60 second tutorial, cooking tutorial for a popular Madeiran dish. Um, 60 second video showcasing the local flora and fauna. I looked at these and I was like, okay, I can do these in 60 seconds, but it's not really the market that I'm aiming to attract. Like these are too touristy and I'm not really looking to make a touristy video necessarily or a video channel. So I said, it's still too focused on tourists. Make it focused on people wanting to move here. And this is my favorite use of ChatGPT because you can ask follow-up questions. You can treat it like an assistant. You can use it to kind of you know, talk to someone um, and brainstorm ideas. And that kind of really, really helped me. So when I said make it more focused on people wanting to move here, that's when it gave me some really kick-ass ideas. A 60 second video of a walk through a local neighborhood popular among expats. Now that I can do. <laughs> and, um, you know, similar ideas about uh, a 60 second video showcasing the ease of getting around the island and availability of transportation options. Again, that would be really easy for me to do. Okay, then I said, okay, now give me opening hook statements for each of these topics. And it gave me some okay hook statements. Um, Want to get a glimpse of what it's like to live in Madeira? Take a virtual tour of a typical apartment or house available for rent perhaps as a voiceover as, or as text on screen, that could do okay. Or maybe as the cover for a YouTube short or a cover for an Instagram reel, that might work. Okay, so this was one of the best ways to use ChatGPT. And I have one more for you. This one is when you want to go viral or you want to see what is actually going viral, what are trendy topics, and you want to find out, okay, if I were to jump on trends happening in my niche, what are those trends? Now, most uh, tools that do trend predictions are paid tools. They're typically SEO tools that you have to pay a lot of money for. And so I found this next hack to be really useful for finding topics and trends and, you know, viral uh, topics within your niche. So I asked ChatGPT, give me some examples of YouTube titles that have gone viral in the cooking niche. Explain why this is a good title, because I wanted to get an understanding of why the algorithm would consider what is a good title or not. And so it gave me these titles, uh, Gordon Ramsay's Scrambled Eggs. Okay. Then I thought maybe if I add like an audience profile to it, it would give me some better viral video titles that I could actually use if I was going to make a, you know, a YouTube channel in the cooking niche. So I said, okay, give me titles in the cooking niche that have gone viral and geared to busy moms who don't have a lot of time to cook. So you can add in, you know, the persona that you're targeting. And so then it gave me some better ideas. 30 minute meals for busy moms. Okay. But these are still too generic for me. Like I wouldn't be able, to, like this is not something I would suggest to a client because it would be really hard to get noticed with generic titles like these. So I thought, okay, how can I narrow this down? And so I decided to give it a prompt to narrow this down. And I said, okay, now refine this and give me cooking titles for YouTube videos for busy moms using specific tools and gadgets. Now you could do specific ingredients, you could do specific types of cuisines, but think about how you can narrow down 
your ideas to really hone in on something that you can go really deep in and own that particular niche, right? So when I said specific tools and gadgets, that's when it gave me ideas like instant pot meals, air fryer recipes, slow cooker recipes. Now these are good. These are more specific and I'm sure that you can drill down even further into this. And I found that this is actually a really brilliant use of ChatGPT. ChatGPT is okay, but if you want my own amazing hacks for writing emotional titles for your YouTube channel, you have to download my YouTube playbook because I take you through a formula for how to come up with your own personalized, customized YouTube titles. You can always use ChatGPT to add some more spice to it. Let me know what you thought of this video. I will look forward to seeing you in the comments below. Bye.